Hello, hello, welcome back to Red A Ted Art. We've got little red Ted here today and we're going to be making bookmarks. Come on, let's take a look and see how he's made. So you're going to need your Red Ted Art printable, um, some yarn for making tassels, we'll look at those at the end, or you can also use pom-poms or uh, ribbons, scissors and glue stick. The first thing you need to do is hold your sheet along the dashed line. This allows you to make your bookmark stronger because you'll have two layers of paper uh, or you can use light card. And um, yeah, it also means that you can get the double sided look. Now I'm gonna add glue to everywhere where I can see the bear. So basically the, the, the brush I can see here and the ears and the body so that it all sticks really well together. Just make sure you get the corners especially the, the brush, fold it in half and give it a nice smooth, pushing it out from the inside out to try and get any bubbles out and then you cut them out. Now I think the thing about the Red Ted Teddy, it's, it's sort of cut in or designed in such a way that you know you don't have to be super neat at cutting out for it to look cute. So I'm cutting it out with this little white edge because I think that gives it a really cute something. Now, on my teddies, I'm gonna laminate it later. If you're not laminating it, you might want to leave a little white part for the hole punch, um, or you can just <laughs> hole punch the head. Um, it's totally up to you, but it's something to consider if you um, you know don't want the hole punch to go through the head, you might just want to leave a little loop. In fact, I'll show you in the next one how to do that. And then you have your basic bookmark ready like that. So I'm going to laminate them, like I've said. I just want to show you quickly what I mean about the, the hole punch mark. So you, if you're not laminating, maybe you would like to add something like this. Looks like a little hat. <laughs> and then when you do hole punch it, you've got a little place for it. So I'm going to laminate those and come back to them. But first, I'm also going to show you how to make your tassels. So I've got two tassels here already. I need to make a few more. It's very easy, get your colours. I happen to have Red Ted Art colours here, which is the red, the orange and the blue. Um, but really, you don't have to have these colours to make tassels. You can just, oh, my camera is not very straight. You can just use whatever colours, or just red, or just blue, or your favourite colour, it doesn't matter. Take your three strands, line them up with your fingers, and wrap. There's no exact rule how often you should wrap it. But I think, you know, don't do too much because they can get really fat, um, the, the strands. Uh, so, you know, and it looks nicer actually sort of in the sort of medium thickness. Now, notice that I've left them open at the bottom. This is the, going to be the top. So carefully hold it. Get some of the contrasting coloured yarn. Push it through. Don't let it unravel. And then tie a little knot. And then tie another little knot. So put it over each other, push it through. That's the top bit. Now you can cut the bottom open. And then you take another piece of yarn. I'm gonna do this one in blue, but you can you know use any of the colours and you bunch it up, bring it together at the bottom. Again, over, under, give it a nice little knot. Pull some through if you need to, just to sort of tidy them a bit. And then another knot. And this time you don't need to trim it, you can just let it hang down and then just trim the bottom. So what I meant was, you don't have to cut them off completely, they can all kind of go together. And there you have your tassels. So now you just need your laminated bookmarks and you can attach those. 
So here I've laminated them. I think you can see it. And like I said, I've, I've hole punched at the top. Now, like I said, you don't have to hole punch it there. You can just hole punch it in the head or to the side, um, or you can leave a little bit of extra paper. I think they look really cute. And I love that you've got a little bit of the branding on the back as well. Look at all those cuties, aren't they fun? And then all you do is you take your tassel, you thread it through, choose a length that you like. I think this is quite a good length. Make a little knot and trim at the end. And you have your printed art bookmark finished. There we go, look at that. Isn't he adorable? So when you're reading, he'll keep your place just safe. So this is one of our, uh, one of our first red ted little crafts with our lovely little teddy bear if you like it give us a big thumbs up um let me know if you want to if you want me to make more i've got some more ideas for him i think he's so cute and i want to do loads and loads of stuff um but yeah in the meantime don't forget to like comment and subscribe above all keep making keep crafting and i'd love to see you here again soon take care bye